Entering new vendors in Dynamics GP is really quite easy. What I do is I go to the purchasing area page here, and then I look up the vendor maintenance screen here, click on vendor, and I've got a new screen. In here I can enter new vendors, but I can also edit existing vendors. The first thing I need to do is put a vendor ID in, and usually what I do is I use a few characters from the vendor's name, for example ABC, and then I put some numbers after it to prevent duplicates. So let me do that. Now I've got a vendor ID. I put the vendor's name in. And then I want to go and assign this vendor to a class ID. And the reason I do that is once I do that, a lot of the values from the class ID are going to default into the screen here. So let's take a look at my vendor classes. Here's one here. I'm going to select that. When I do that, you can see that some of these values fill in. I need a, an address field, and basically I need to enter a, an address ID. An address ID is just the name of an address, so I usually use this, and I just put in the address. And I'm done. So this is the first page of my vendor master file and I can have multiple addresses if I want to. Um, because I assign it to a class I automatically get accounts associated with that which is good that's what I want. So really adding additional vendors is really quite easy to do. If I have some additional options I can go here and here I might have a 1099 vendor I can select that here and you can see that I can select different uh, attributes about a vendor and make that part of the record here. So Again, adding a new vendor or edit existing vendors in Dynamics GP is really quite easy to do.